Hi, I'm JJ Snyder for the Red Carpet Report. Tonight we're at the Paley Center for Media for a panel discussion and season two premiere of Husbands, the series. God, you look amazing. Well, thank you. You're also very tall. I like that. So are you. <laughs> I really My am. Goodness. It like takes that. a tall person to. So what's the, so? Uh, who have you talked to so far? Everybody. Except you. Except, okay, so we're waiting for you. We're waiting on me. I was. There was a lot of demand for the director. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so. Right. Yeah. Because tonight's really sort of about me. you. It's a lot about me. Actually, my voice is in this one. You'll hear me at one point. Oh, really? Yeah, I do a little VO. Little voiceover work. It's my equivalent of the Hitchcock cameo. Oh, You'll okay. hear a little bit of me on the track. I think you got to stick your head in one of. Oh. See, one of the things I learned because uh, you know I worked on um, Friends and on Will and Grace and Desperate Housewives. I learned during my first job, which is actually Dream On, that I can't do a cameo because I make everyone else look like a midget. Like, even if I'm walking through the background of the frame, suddenly it, it appears, because you assume I'm a normal-sized person, everyone looks like they're three feet tall. So I can't, I've never done a cameo. Actually, I did play the hand of Stan, you know, Karen's husband on Will & Grace. I played his hand in one episode. You did? Yeah. How was that? I got to grab her boob. Whoa. Hey. Great. Okay, What's wrong with that? That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what can What I a do? blast. You've had a lot of fun in your life. I have had because, a lot of okay. fun. Because I know you're having fun directing these You films. can tell how great, I mean, yeah. I, it is like a party. Well, you can, I think what really comes across when you watch the show is how much everyone enjoys one another, how much genuine affection there is between these guys and between Alessandra and these guys. Mm -hmm. It's just infectious, you know, and I felt like more than anything else, my job as a director is just to create a safe space where everyone can be funny and have a good time. You know, I'm like the party planner. You know, I set out the refreshments, I set out the food, and I let the fun happen. Because the, br the script is brilliant, the actors are really facile, and so the key is just letting that energy come across to the viewer. Oh, wow. Oh, totally groovy. Uh, how many takes do you do? I don't, I don't like to do more than three. <laughs> I have a theory that... that I, like when I hear David Fincher goes to like take 71, there's no question he's brilliant. But was take 69 really bad? But in, in comedy, it's got to feel loose. It's got to feel natural. It's got to feel off the cuff. So, and, and I come from the school, like on Will and Grace, if you've done two or three takes of something and it doesn't work, change the line. Because trying to force it, trying to force the audience to laugh, or trying to force the actor to do it in a different way, it never works. No, you're totally right. It's like, I can't possibly say this another way. Right. No, yeah. it, and, it's, like and the actor to starts to get nervous. You know what I'm right. saying? So right. did you ever go to a filming of a sitcom? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, like we change lines between takes. Oh, all the time. And it's so, terrifying. So, yeah. For the actors. It, but it's really fun for the writers because it's like speed chess. Like we got to come up with something really, really yeah. fast. So there were a couple of times during the shoot, if we tried something a couple of times and it just didn't feel that these two, would, Jane and Cheeks, would huddle and come up with something else. You know, but most of the time the script had been refined to the point that they all knew it and it really sang. So. Do you have a certain direction that you seem to keep giving on this particular show? Uh, if, if there's one direction you've given a couple of times, faster yeah. or what? You could be a director. 99% of my job is faster or slower. Honestly. Well, you made me think of that question. Because well, it's a sitcom because, because, you know, mm. comedy, especially this, is, this episode that you're going to see, is a farce. Okay? In other words, there's people who care really deeply about something coming off well. And when that happens, when people care really deeply, uh, people are driven to a fever pitch. So it's got to be fast. It's got to crackle. Mm -hmm. If things start to slow down, it's suddenly like all the life drains out of it. But when you're dealing with an, a, a moment where a character is struggling with what to say, or they're having trouble with their feelings, or they need to, to try and express something that comes at some cost, they have to slow down. Those things never work if they're really, really fast. You know what I mean? So a lot of what I do is, is manage tempo. You know, in addition to helping... So you're kind of a conductor, aren't you? Then? Yeah, yeah, is to keep the tempo yeah. fast when it needs to be funny, and that when we're reaching, not to be like syrupy about it, but when, we're, when there's an emotional moment to just let everybody breathe and let things slow down a little bit. And you'll see, we have a nice mix of that in the show. You know, that because if you had to listen to something at a frenetic constant, it, you, it wears you out. Yeah. So you need those breaths. You know, like in a piece of music, it's got a lot of that same musicality to it. I'm really pretentious. Can you tell? Very interesting. No, it was sort of like I loved it. It was like the most basic acting lesson too. It's yeah. Sort of like faster, yeah. slower. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Isn't it funny? I don't. Yeah. I'm. I, there are there are directors who are far superior to me who spend a lot of time crunching motivations and. 
think about how when your mother didn't give you enough love as a child, that's the yearning that you're bringing. I don't really do that. I hear you, but you get laughs, and for those of us who like laughs, yes. you're pretty bitchin'. That's good to hear. Thank you. Thank Lovely you. Lovely to meet you. All right. Lovely to meet you. Congratulations.